Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager in the studio. It's been a little while. I'm really excited about this one. In this video, we're going to be unboxing it, setting it up, and giving you my first impressions. Now, by the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you if I recommend getting this device. I would say definitely get it, but for a $300 price tag, it's pretty expensive. And I also want to say thank you to all my supporters on this channel. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to even get this device. We actually had a event that we planned and we ended up raising the money in one night to get it. So big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for supplying me with the stuff so I can make these videos. But let's get into the unboxing. If you want to skip the unboxing part, just skip ahead to this timestamp here. And that's it for the unboxing. Now the setup process is very long. I think it was over 20 minutes it took me to set up this pager. And uh, there's something I've never seen before. Usually when it comes to these gadgets, it usually doesn't take this long, but let me show you how to do it. First thing you're gonna do is turn the device on. Now don't panic, when you turn the device on, it kind of has like a blank screen for a while. It doesn't really do anything. Just sit there and be patient. Eventually it will move on to the next screen. Just keep holding on to it and just let it do its thing and then you'll get to here. So now you need to plug it into your computer and you need to connect to this IP address here. Once you do that, you're going to see this and you don't click on the purple button just yet. You need to actually grab the firmware and install it to your computer and then you can flash the firmware to the device. So it's gonna lead you to this page, click on the most stable version, depending on what time you actually get the pager or flashing the firmware, it's gonna change for you, but click the most stable one. Then click on the purple button, select the download, and then install. Now again, during any type of flashing process, do not unplug it. Just let it do its thing. And this process took forever. I recommend during this period just to go watch a TV show. By the time a 15 minute to 20 minute show is done, you'll this will probably be done. Usually I tell you to get a cup of coffee, but you're gonna probably need two or three with this. Now eventually it will end, then you're greeted with the setup page here. And you can just go down uh, the list here um, to talk about a couple features, a couple things about it. Um, you gotta set a pin and a password for the device. Make sure you get that done. Now don't forget that pin and password, you're gonna need it later on if you wanna do some advanced settings, but make sure you pick your time zone like you're looking at right now. Once you're done with that, you're gonna see about the license stuff. Just go ahead and hit yes so you can continue. And then after that, you're gonna be greeted with the tutorial. Now the tutorial is just gonna go over some basic buttons and things about the pager just to get you started. First thing it shows is all the power button features, how to sleep, lock the screen, lock the buttons, nerd stats, and then shut down. And then after that, it's gonna go over the other buttons and then you should be done. Now you can pause at any moment if you wanna really go through it, but a lot of it's just common sense. Then you're gonna see starting services. This will take a while also. And once this boots, you're ready to go. Now you get a nice little welcome screen and then you're ready to go. And here we are. So you just saw the unboxing and the setup process. The setup process, again, is really long. I cut a lot out. So let's talk about first impressions. So I've been using this for a little while, I've been testing it all night since I got it, and this device gets hot. Darren even mentions it not to leave it in your pocket or your backpack running. I'm, I'm telling you, it gets hot to the touch, and that made me a little bit nervous that it can actually damage the device. So it is not designed for your pocket or your backpack to leave it running. I also tried doing deauthentication attacks around this device and it didn't alert me. So I don't know if there's something wrong or I have to look into it a little bit more, but the recon tools are really great. I love seeing all the stuff going on around me in my environment. But 
with the price tag of three hundred dollars, it's it's hard for me to justify buying this if you can get like the regular Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark Seven. The web UI is so nice; it's so user friendly. I feel like that's a little bit more user friendly than this guy. I'm also a little bit bummed out that the customization's not really there. I had themes that I've been building in the background for a while, getting things ready. I've gotten icons that have changed the color of. I have backgrounds. I've been working on ringtones. I got a whole bunch of stuff, and I just can't find an easy way to set this up and share it with everybody. Now, I already have some assets put together for my Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager theme. I'll share that with you guys in my Proton Share Drive, but I still don't know how to actually upload this stuff yet eventually i will get past the learning curve and i'll understand this device a little bit more and it's a really cool device and it's a really nice passion project from hack 5 but for the price tag you might be better off getting maybe the enterprise model because after you start adding up the money for modules this thing's gonna get really expensive and if you really want a portable Wi-Fi pineapple that you can hold in your hands, you can just get a battery bank and then plug it into your other Wi-Fi pineapple and just connect it over your phone. The web UI is really nice. You can use it on your phone, any device that hosts a browser. Now, there is a learning curve, and I have a lot more testing I need to do, but there is a couple concerns I already mentioned already, especially about how hot that I noticed the device got today. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Will you be picking up the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager? Is it something that you want to get? Would you consider getting a different Wi-Fi Pineapple or getting the Pager? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious. And if you want to support me and everything I do on YouTube, consider being a channel member. It really does help out. Thank you for watching this video. And remember that safety is an illusion.